17th, users of a small but well-known Italian crypto exchange received emails saying the rock trading was having liquidity issues and is interrupting its work. The company is conducting internal audits to identify the cause of the problem and evaluating the adoption of all appropriate or necessary initiatives to protect customers and other stakeholders, said the email. The website became a single page showing the same message. The exchange announced its suspension of operations on Tuesday, February 21st. TRT's problem are yet another chapter in the history of crypto crashes, shutdowns and bankruptcies over the last year. Terraform Labs, the Three Arrows Capital Hedge Fund, Crypto Lender Celsius Network, BlockFi and Voyager Digital, Minus Core Scientific and Compute North and the spectacular collapse of US crypto exchange FTX are all on the list. Voyager Digital, the centralized finance platform that declared bankruptcy in July 2022, is reportedly selling assets through the Coinbase cryptocurrency exchange. According to on-chain data, Voyager received at least $100 million in USD coin in three days beginning February 24th. According to on-chain analyst Look on Chain, Voyager has been sending crypto assets to Coinbase almost daily since Valentine's Day, Feb 14th. According to the investigation, Voyager transferred millions of dollars using a variety of cryptocurrency tokens, including Ether. Look on Chain revealed the Voyager used 23 tokens worth more than $100 million. Crypto exchange CoinFlex is demanding that Blockchain.com return $4.3 million worth of flex coins or face legal proceedings, claiming it lent the Luxembourg-based financial services company a combined 3 million flex coins last year. However, Blockchain.com has denied the CoinFlex claims. The Feb 24th dated notice asserts that Blockchain.com has until March 7 to confirm it will repay the flex coins and set a deadline of March 21st for Blockchain.com to send the funds. Otherwise, CoinFlex says the exchange will face the commencement of legal proceedings including but not limited to a formal demand for payment called a statutory demand. From then, Blockchain.com would still have an additional 21 days to repay the funds, which consists of four loans allegedly issued between March and June of last year, according to the document. The demand is based on an AMM Plus automated market maker participation agreement allegedly entered into on April 12, 2022, when Bitcoin struggled at $40,000. Whether that agreement even exists is in dispute. CoinFlex has provided no evidence, documentation or on-chain data to support their claims. The Blockchain.com statement read. That's all in this bulletin for now. Keep watching 3.2 TV.